this is not the Barbie movie. This is not what happened last year that everyone was like wearing pink and going in big groups to watch the Barbie movie to have a good time. The tea is piping hot with It Ends With Us. You know the saying that all publicity is good publicity? The team behind the movie It Ends With Us may beg to defar. Because if anything, the kind of publicity they are getting is overshadowing the movie itself and it's not looking good. And as a person who followed this drama for a while, from where and when it started, I'm not afraid to say that a lot of people are already pronouncing a downfall for this movie because all the drama surrounding it really is a tornado that distracted the whole movie. Now don't get it twisted, the movie itself is a good one in its sector because it's a DV movie. But the drama going on behind the scenes between the actors and directors is what's causing the downfall. From the cast conflicts and competition between producers to tone deaf promotions, it is no wonder the whole project is raising a lot and I mean a lot of side eyes. So if you're a fan of drama, get comfy and stay with me here for a few minutes as I unpack for you everything going wrong with It Ends With Us. And also for more drama and messy stories, I am your girl. So sub subscribe on my channel to always get the tea and in time. Just a little bit of background info, before becoming a movie, It Ends With Us is a book written by Colin Hoover. A few years ago, Justin Baldoni secured the rights to transform this book into a movie. And like I said, this movie is basically about DV. So the main cast is Blake Lively who plays Lily and Justin Baldoni who plays Ryle. But behind their main roles in the movie, the two did have other roles where on top of owning the movie, Justin also was a producer and Blake was a director as well. Now the signs that there was some type of drama going on behind the scenes came when Justin was seen on several occasions being so distant from the rest of the cast during the promotions and premiere. And the fact that none of the cast follows Justin on Instagram, despite him following Blake and Hoover. So the new It Ends With Us movie just came out. Blake Lively was the executive producer and Justin Baldoni was the director and also the lead in the movie. They're the two leads. And people started to notice that some things were not right around August 6th when they had their New York premiere. Blake Lively was pictured with tons of the other castmates while Justin Baldoni was only pictured with his wife. He also did not introduce the film to the audience um, with Blake Lively and Colleen Hoover who wrote the book, which is like super weird because he directed the project. And because this is weird, people started digging in to understand what was going on. And that is when it was found that there was indeed some type of lift between Blake and Justin. The two had been beefing during the entire production of the movie, especially because, like I said, one was a producer and another one a director. I am not going to go into much details, not to make this very lengthy, but the main issue basically was that Blake was overstaping Justin and always wanting things to go her way. Too much. She even had her husband Ryan participating in the movie when he was not his part to play. We're probably never going to know what happened on the film set of It Ends With Us for Blake and Justin to hate each other so much, not be seen in promo, everyone to have unfollowed Justin, people to come out and say that they made he made them feel uncomfortable. We're probably gonna never know what happened. When you look at her, it looks like she feels justified in bringing her husband into what she's doing because she said that we help each other. He works on everything I do. I work on everything he does. So his wins, his celebrations are mine and mine are his. Ryan's here tonight. What is it like for the both of you to be promoting major motion pic pictures at the same time? Oh my gosh, it's just so thrilling. You know, we help each other. We work together so much. The, the iconic rooftop scene in this movie, my husband actually wrote it. Nobody knows that, but you know. Um, but he wrote it. He, he works on everything I do. I work on everything he does. So his wins, his celebrations are mine and, and mine are his. I mean, he's all over this film. On top of that, Blake Lively also did spill the tea about the lift between herself and other people who worked on the movie when she was on a sudden interview, where she said that they had an argument over her, including the song Cherry by Lana Del Roy, into the movie. She said that they begged me to take that song out of the movie. I am not supposed to be talking about this, but because they felt like it was too charged and heavy. So because of this and much more of beef kind of going on between the show producers and directors and their drama trending than the movie itself it is so ruining the market for the movie and by the way the movie is supposed to have a sequel but guess what justin just proved that things are that bad 
when he kind of stepped down from having any role regarding the sequel, saying that Black got it and is capable of handling all of it, which to me feels like a very hot shade, saying that since she wants to do everything, I'll let her do everything. He said that I think Black Lively is ready to direct, that is what I think. Well, but I do understand him because amidst all of this, there emerged some behind the scenes footage where it was very clear that Black was annoyingly mansplaining to Justin how to play his role. And I guess that Justin is probably just tired of with this whole drama and just wants to step down a bit. Black is indeed facing a lot of hate from the fans because of this. One person said that I don't like this at all. It seems like Blake has overstepped him. I don't like it. Well fam, turns out that this issue is just the tip of the iceberg of the entire problem going on with this whole it ends with us issue. Because apparently there is also a huge issue when it comes to the way that the movie is being promoted, especially by the rest of the cast apart from Justin. So like I said, you guys the film is typically about DV, but the way that Blake and the rest of the team are promoting it, it's giving Barbie and any other kind of fairy tale movies. And people feel like maybe they don't understand how serious the movie is, yet they played it. Look, in one of the promotional interviews they did, Black did say that It Ends With Us is in theaters now. So grab your friends, wear your flowers, and head out to see it. When you and Justin were taking on this project, because it's no easy feat to bring a beloved book. I mean, honestly, I, I didn't have any hesitations. To me, it was, it was a no-brainer. Colleen yeah. just laid out um, such a beautiful and clear roadmap for Lily's journey. I completely understood why she made the decisions that she made. Now, this kind of flora everything is beautiful and kind of promotion is not sitting well with a lot of people who feel like this movie should be promoted with a powerful message which talks about DV because that is what the movie is about. And it was too much that people really felt like the cast was kind of romanticizing DV. This person said that I just think it's weird AF why abuse is being marketed as cute girl movie. What the F, Blake? Well, another fan said that the issue starts with the material. It's the same problem with Fifty Shades of Grey. The book is a glorified and romanticized view of DV. The last person shared their view and said that the way I, I gasped when she said that this movie is about living out a lifelong dream. I am sorry, did we read the same book? The whole plot point is DV and generational trauma, not the flower shop. Well, unlike Blake, Hoover and the rest of the team, Justin seems to be the only person promoting the movie genuinely because he actually is talking about things that reflect what is in the movie. He once said in a promotional interview that I want men to stop asking the question, why women stay? I want men to take accountability. I want men to hold other men accountable in this particular film. I want men to go to the theater and and in the same way see a version of themselves and honestly I agree that this is the real message that should be spread. A person immediately said that ironic that the man in the movie is the only one taking the topic of DV seriously while all the women want it to be a cute room calm. So bizarre. However, while he's praised for spreading the real message about the movie, there are some reports which say that he gave the cast a hard time while filming, which in some way may explain why they are all distant from him. The report said that another unnamed source said that Baldoni created a, an extremely difficult environment for the entire cast. It's not just Blake, none of the cast enjoyed working with Justin. They added that they suddenly did not talk to him at the premiere. But for any kind of tea or update, like I said, I am here for you. So make sure you subscribe to to never miss out and also let me know what you think about everything going on with the cast and the whole controversy going on with this film. Thank you for watching and see you next time.